Sure. Um, Mark the Machine Hominick uh, from Chelmsford, Ontario, a mixed martial arts fighter that fights with the UFC. Um, I have an upcoming fight April 30th at the Rogers Centre, uh, fighting for the featherweight, the 145 pound world title. I'm fighting against Josie Aldo. He's the uh, current champion at 145 pounds uh, for the UFC, world champ. First 30 seconds of the fight, you know he's going to come hard. Yeah. How do you? What do you do? What's your I think the biggest thing is uh, with Jose, like he, he's won fights in nine seconds. So he's, he's definitely, as soon as that bell rings, you have to be ready for him. Uh, my first fight growing up would probably be about grade six. Uh, I thought I'd be a tough guy and fought a grade eight and it didn't, didn't end up too good. <laughs> was <laughs> so, there people watching? Uh, well, it was obviously over a girl. So uh, yeah, but I, I think I was on the losing end of that one. This is the inaugural 145 pound featherweight UFC belt. So this is the first time this belt's been on the line. Fighting the champion who's widely regarded as, as best pound for pound fighter in the world. I have a baby due the week after the fight. You know, like things are in line and, and I really tr truly believe that, you know, things in life happen for a reason and the, and the, the timing in this couldn't be more perfect. You know? you know, I do my sparring sessions on Tuesday night. I finish and I go right to Lamaze's class. So it's been, it's been a crazy time, but I tell my wife, like there's gonna be no other time like this in our life that we're gonna be going through this much, you know, life-changing events. And, and the way I'm looking at it, it's all good news. Are you a hungry fighter? Oh, for sure. And like that, like my nickname's the Machine, and that's just the way you know it comes from my training. Like I basically train like a machine. My family's never—they've never been a fight fan. You know, my mom's, you know, de definitely a nerve wrack. You know, after every fight, her first, you know, question is, "Are you done? Are you going to retire now?" And that's been since, since I made my pro debut. My dad, he, he, again, he never was a fight fan. You know, he passed away about four years ago now, but he'd always come to my fights and. You know, as soon as my fight was over, he'd go home. But he always supported me, came and videotaped it, and then he'd, he'd go back to the hotel room and, you know, give me a call afterwards. The absolute best part of fighting is winning. You know, this is what drives me. I love that feeling of, of being the winner. I love competing and having my hand raised at the end of the night. The worst part of a mixed martial arts is losing. Like, that's, there's nothing more, you know, hurtful, more dissatisfying for me than losing, you know, like than having to walk, walk to the dressing room with a loss on your record. Uh, you know, like this is what drives me, and that's the thing about individual sports, that it's all on your shoulders. And the thing with, with losing as well, it's not like you can go back the next night, you know, put your skates on and play the next night. you got to wait another three months to kind of redeem yourself, and you got to live with that pain for the, for the next three months and train harder and, and everything. But on the same end, the winning end of it, you get to ride that high for three months so you're back in the cage. You get to fight in front of 55,000 people at the Rogers Centre, sold out, the first UFC in Ontario. This is the biggest event of UFC's history, and this point in my life is, is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.